Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 54 of my King Tiger and Bergpanzer diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Firstly, sorry it's taken a while for me to release a new video on this but real life, the puppy, and the loss of mojo on the subject has been the reason. I've got a couple of projects in the pipeline but those I'm keeping quiet and doing those has helped me find my mojo back for this one as well. So, on to today's video. Here, we're going to be chipping, chipping and... Oh, yeah, guess what? Chipping! So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on with that chipping. I didn't really explain what I was going to do, did I? Firstly, I painted some of the bits and pieces with the red primer colour. Then, went over that with uh, a grey to simulate the metal. Now, park it to one side, leave that to dry. Next, we're going to glue the two halves of the Hetzer together. Woohoo! We'll start with the front and rear, let those set, then we'll do the sides later. So, here we go with that. That's done, pop it to one side to dry. While that's over there, let's get on with some sponge chipping. Not very good at this, so it could turn out bloody awful, but only time will tell, so let's have some fun while we're doing it. Here we go.
Okay, time for a bit of chunter. I'm getting really, really impatient here. It's not working. It's not coming out when I expected it. I'm watching videos on chipping as I'm doing it, and it's just not happening. It's more than likely something I'm doing. Lack of practice, I don't know. But these amazing model painters pump these videos out saying, you too can chip like I do. No, I bloody well can't. It takes practice doing it. And even then, it may not come out like his. They are amazing modelers, but they need to say, I have been doing this for years. Yours will not come out like this first time. You have to practice. But this is how I do it. Keep practicing. They're setting new modelers up to fail. Stop it. It's bloody annoying. Chunter over. Right, I'd now got to the point where I was getting really, really frustrated with it. My mojo was rapidly pissing off out the window. So I decided to do something completely different and prep my exhausts ready for rusting and smoking up. So here we go with that. There we have the exhaust painted dark grey ready for texturing, which we'll do in a later video as they need to dry. Now to move on to hacking parts up. Here I'm taking my micro saw to the tow cables, which I'm going to replace with stranded cable, which I'll make from five or six pieces of 0.2mm copper wire, which I twist together and then cut to length. Here we go. That's the cables measured and the eyes cut off. Now to clean the eyes up and pre-drill the holes ready for the DIY cable that we'll be making soon.
That's those done. The new vice was some help. It was okay. Anywho, this is a month later. I have my mojo back for the project, so I decided to start easy and small. The lower hull's been kicking around for several more months now and needed touch-ups touch here and there, so I decided to do those. I started with the black. That's the black done, and now for the red oxide. Now for the Hetzer. There we have the hets are nearly done with red oxide. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 54. If you want to see what happens in episode 55, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.